New signs of potential trouble here on the Korean Peninsula. South Korea's National Intelligence Service briefed lawmakers on Monday, telling them that they have detected activity of possible preparations here in North Korea for a sixth nuclear test at the Pungay-ri test site. That's where they conducted the previous five nuclear tests. The most recent one was last September, just one week after the end of those joint military drills between the United States and South Korea. Regularly scheduled, they happen every year. We don't know for sure if there was a link between the test and the end of the drills, but what we do know is that those drills infuriate the North Korean regime. They wrote a letter to the United Nations Security Council expressing uh, their frustration, their anger, and uh, we met with North Korean officials here in Pyongyang. They told us they're watching the United States every move, and they say that North Korea will respond with tough countermeasures as a result of these ongoing joint military drills, which the U.S. insists are merely training, but which North Korea views as a dress rehearsal for an invasion. In fact, officials here said that if there is an escalation with catastrophic results. They say the United States would be wholly responsible, but of course that is the kind of rhetoric that we hear all the time from North Korea. As for a nuclear test, it's important to point out that there were preparations observed back in April. At that time, the United States and South Korea thought a nuclear test was imminent. It did not happen, but since then we have seen North Korea launch a number of missiles, and in fact they launched three more over the weekend, at least attempted to do so. Short-range ballistic missiles, two of which traveled more than 200 50 kilometers or 150 miles uh, landing in the waters off Japan, but with the potential to hit all of metropolitan Seoul and key military bases in South Korea. Meanwhile, United States tourists continue their final days here in Pyongyang before the U.S. travel ban takes effect on Thursday and they have to get out. U.S. citizens, uh, at least most of them, will not be able to use their passports to visit this country. Will Ripley, CNN, Pyongyang, North Korea.